The following article deals with information regarding the difference between flying ants and termites. The flying ants versus termites study helps in understanding these differences properly. In the United States, termites cause a lot of damage to houses by destroying the wood used in their construction. Many times, flying ants are mistaken for termites due to their similar appearance. It is necessary to understand the differences between these creatures in order to take preventive measures for controlling them. Flying ants Flying ants are not a separate species or type of ants, but those males and females which have not bred and might be in the process of doing so. The division of the body into parts such as the head, thorax, and abdomen makes their identification easier, and thus differentiates them from termites. Before making an attempt of eradicating them, it is important to know what attracts them. Sugar and greasy foods are the best baits. The first step in the process of flying ant eradication is to locate their nest. Flying ants in the house are mostly found in walls where they build their nests. If the house is infested with flying ants in winter, the possibility of finding their nest in the walls is high. Termites Termites are eusocial insects which fall under the order Isoptera. These are detritivorous insects, feed on dead materials, mostly found in the tropical and subtropical regions. It is necessary to understand the difference between flying ants, termites, and similar insects in order to take appropriate measures for their control. Many times it happens that the flying ant problem is mistaken for termites which adds to the worry of house owners. Distinguishing features Although flying ants and termites are similar in appearance, there are certain differences in their physical appearance which differentiate them from each other. The difference between a flying ant and a termite could be noticed easily if careful observation is made. The body of termites is divided into two parts that is the head and the body. Ants on the other hand have three parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The waist region of the ants appears to be somewhat pinched in shape while that of termites is not. The antennae of termites are straight while those of ants are bent in shape. The legs of ants are present in the thoracic region, just behind the head. Termites, on the other hand, have legs throughout the length of the body. The antennae of the termites are in a beaded form while those of ants are in a continuous line. The length of the wings of flying ants is different in size than that of termites. Both termites and flying ants have four wings, however, the front wings of the ants are larger than the hind wings. In case of termites, all four wings have the same length. Another difference to be noted between termites and ants is that the former have wings that are gray-white in color while the latter have transparent wings with veins which can be seen easily. The veins present on the wings are easily visible in the case of flying ants. Due to the grayish tinge present on the wings, veins on the wings of termites are not easily visible. The developmental phase that a termite goes through is known as a gradual metamorphosis. Flying ants undergo complete metamorphosis. The different phases in the life cycle of a termite are the egg, nymph, and adult. The flying ant however, passes into the larval stage after the egg stage and then into the pupal stage. The adult stage is reached after the pupa and thus the complete metamorphosis of the flying ant concludes. The feeding habits of these flying black ants and termites are also different. Termites primarily feed on wood, while the flying ants eat a variety of things including plants, meat, etc. The bacteria present in the stomach of termites help in breaking down the cellulose. The above description of flying ants versus termites presents the various aspects of their structure, behavior, and food habits. Studying the difference between flying ants and termites help to understand the various causes of their infestations. Thus, taking preventive measures against the menace created by them becomes easier.